Some of the top high school football players in the country have assembled this week in South Carolina. Another week of practice and preparation in beautiful Charleston in anticipation of tonight's game, the first ever NUC All World Red Iron Classic. It comes your way on Fox College Sports next. Citadel in Charleston, South Carolina is the site. Johnson Haygood Stadium for the first NUC All World Gridiron Classic. And hello, everyone. I'm Brett Dolan. Happy New Year. Great to have you with us tonight. Alongside me is Scott Kennedy from Scout.com. He spends all of his waking moments evaluating high school players, so this is a second Christmas for him. And, Scott, before we talk about the players, let's talk about how these kids got here in this game, the format, and how they got put on their respective teams. Well, the NUC stands for National Interclassman Combine, which is a series of events that these players have been coming to since they were freshmen in high school. This is the culmination for that night, and the players Players were picked not based on geography, but they're actually drafted. So they got picked on teams to try and make them as even as possible with one caveat. Future teammates are also teammates tonight. So there's six players from Virginia Tech. They're all teammates tonight. There's two Georgia offensive linemen. They're teammates tonight. So they tried to make it as even as possible, but they also wanted to make sure people that are going to be playing together are playing together. Hey, playing time in all-star games is tough to divvy up. The one thing we know, the quarterbacks should touch the football on every play. And boy, we have good ones on both teams. Well, it's so important to have quarterbacks that can can take a play that's broken down and make a play with only three days to get practice together you're not going to see a well-oiled machine so it helps to have a guy that can run break down and run and make a play with his feet and both teams have guys like that michael eubank fresh off a state championship appearance with corona centennial committed to arizona state has been called cam by his, his teammates and coaches based on his his appearance who looks like heisman trophy winner cam newton 6'5, 220 pounds he's got a big time arm can stretch the defense and once he gets those defensive backs going backwards, he can take off and run it. Texas A&M commitment for all NUC team. Johnny Menzel put up Tecmo Bowl numbers as a senior. 75 combined touchdowns in one season. That's a good career for a lot of players. He's a, probably a little bit better of an athlete at 6'195". He just isn't quite as big, obviously, as Michael Eubank. But both of these guys can really make a difference once a play breaks down and take it and run, which I think we'll see a little bit of that tonight. Hey, the talent isn't just limited to the offenses. We have some very impressive young defensive players who are going to be spending their night chasing these quarterbacks around. And to fill you in more, we introduce the third member of our crew, Ali LaForce. You guys talked about two very impressive quarterbacks, but I guarantee you they're not going to have much time in the pocket. This is an all-star game, so if you have two of the top quarterbacks in the nation, you're going to have two of the top defensive ends. We'll start with number 44 from Team World, Andre Sturdivant, a 250-pound, six-foot-three defensive end from Cleveland, Ohio. Now he played the linebacker position at Glenville High School, but was moved by NUC to defensive end, and that's where you're going to see him in college. Illinois, Michigan State, Ohio State, Penn State, all chasing after him. He's a force to be reckoned with. Now we're going to move to Team NUC. Corey Marshall, he wears number 59, a little bit smaller, 6'2", 240 pounds, but equally impressive. He was also a defensive tackle, moved to the defensive end position, and committed to Virginia Tech, one of the best defensive schools there is. He will join five other players from Team NUC next fall. Well, it's a beautiful night for football in Charleston. The kickoff is next for the NUC All-World Gridiron Classic. It comes your way on Fox College Sports. Look closely at history in the making. This $50 Buffalo gold piece is the purest gold coin ever struck by the U.S. government. It's the first U.S. coin ever struck using .9999 that's four nines, pure 24 karat gold. Its design is based on the famous Buffalo nickel of 1913 to 38. Wildly popular with investors and collectors, the U.S. government had to stop production because of a shortage of specially made gold blanks. It's no wonder the price of this edition is going through the roof. Now you can reserve your own copy of the $50 gold buffalo clad in 14 milligrams of pure gold. National Collectors Mint's private non-monetary minting recreates James Earl Frazier's American Buffalo against a mirror-like background on one side, and his iconic Native American Indian head stands out in stunning relief on the other. The final issue price was to be set at $50 per proof, but during our special